Hey everyone, it's Dave here from Band of Badgers, and this is our kind of next mystery box unboxing. We're joined by Steve as always. I'm going to point him out. I don't know why I'm pointing out. He's over there. Um, so I'm, try... I'm up below you. <laughs> now, now. Uh, so I guess. Um, ooh, just remember the movie Seven. Yeah, is it taking you that long, Sean? <laughs> what's in the box? It's, it's what's in the box? What's in the box, man? What's in the box? It's, 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 it's a great film. Seven is a great film. Um, so this is the next thing. Now, just in case you only see in this video on YouTube in isolation, we do a number of these for a live studio audience. Um, we get questions. So everyone in the audience, shout out your questions. Steve will shout them out and get the answers if we know the answers. But as the, as the screen before this, you're here to see some Army Painter. This is a mystery box. Army Painter have sent some stuff over. Um, really, really pleased as well to announce, and I haven't, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but Army Painter have, have now come on and they are our supporters of Band of Badgers. So you'll start to see, um, uh, using some bits and pieces on screen, uh, and we've got some. We've got a special event coming as well in October. We're going to be doing a special, like we did with Dogmite, the brush off special, a brush off Dogmite special. We're going to be doing a brush off Army Painter special. We have all of that coming. I have this annoying camera right in my face. Um, so we have that coming. But we have a big box of stuff to go through. So I am going to dive straight in and pick out the first thing I see is this. Oh. This is the Speed Paint Mega Set. Mega. Mega. I, I need the voice thing. Mega. <laughs> you need the... Uh, Mega. Go, 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 go. <laughs> set, 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 set. This is the Mega Set of Speed Paint. Now, so... What is Speed Paint? What, what is Speed Paint, Stephen? Um, that's a good question. Let me try to inform you, if I remember this right. So I was talking with uh, Adam... Uh, from Army Painter. If you go to armypainter.com, uh, the armypainter.com, th there's a number of tutorials. They brought out a whole series like D and D paint, and you get D and D mini in it as well. I've got not that drist, but I've got different drist in there as well. They do a drist, they do um, uh, a lich, they do an owl bear, and they do Minsk, Minsk and Boo. You can get that. Um, so I, I've I've used their paints, I've tried their paints, I've bought their paints, I've got their paints. When I was talking to Adam, I said, well, "What's the speed? What does it mean, speed paints?" I'm already, I'm already trying to paint as quick as I can when we do these live shows. He goes, no. These base, shadow, it kind of gave me the whole youth, base, shadow, and highlight all in one. I was like, but how is that possible? How do you do that? Do you just like several coats? He goes, no, it's in one coat. So this will basically highlight, which is what your dry brushing is doing, and darken, which is what your washes are doing. All in one paint. All in one go. And my, my brain just went, pop. Because it's not a big brain. So it went, pop. It made a little noise. It made me like, bubble wrap. <laughs> pop. It went pop. So, uh, they've sent me one. Now, also in this one, you get a free brush. Woohoo. Um, I love brushes. Get more time for gaming. So, I'm going to put these to the test. Um, we have... So, we're going to be using some of these during... Um, uh, we've got our epic brush off stuff next week. So I'm going to try to use some of these to see how they are. I'm obviously going to use them in our hangout as well. Um, tomorrow, I'm going to be doing like a, I'm going to do a test. So join us live tomorrow for our hangout, our brush off hangout, um, where you'll see me do a do basically a real live test and see how good these are. Um, and we're in October, middle of October, we are going to be doing a Army Painter special. A brush off army painter special where we will be looking at something else that's in the box, and I'll get to that in a bit. But look at this I mean, look, it says here, let's go through the spiel. The only one war paint speed pa war paint speed paint is truly a one coat painting solution. Simply apply one rich coat of speed paint directly over a primed miniature, and you're done. The speed paint will leave the part of the model with both intense shading, vibrant color, and a highlight effect in one application. See, so it's, it's, my brain just went pop, giving you instant color and the perfect contrast for your miniature. Fantastic intense shading and highlighting effect for perfect contrast. Paint faster than ever. 
to a great standard. But then you start to see their colors, and there's a reason they've used a cube, because these are the kind of the free colors you're gonna get. But look at that orange, that's a bit intense. Look at the, the yellow, look at the, look at the brown, the hardened leather, look at the purple, the pinky purple. There's def definitely some colours on there that are more contrasty yeah. than others because uh, the camera's not picking up the yellow at all. Uh, you've moved it well, down, the yellow, so, yeah. the yellow is a bright yellow. Yeah, it's one colour. Yeah, yeah, you're not you're not seeing that shade light yeah. uh, effect. And you also get a paint uh, a medium in there as well. Oh yeah, yeah. look, and mixing balls are preloaded. Ah, oh, that's good. Now these that are also so slightly um, bigger. Let me zoom back out. These are slightly bigger than the previous army painted ones that I got in the D and D sets. They were quite small. Um, you get a lot of paint in them, but they were quite small. These, sorry about the noise. One. Oh wow. Okay. They come in trays. And nice. Ooh. So empty box. There's a little painting guide as well. Yeah. Look at this. Um, free, please take a copy. That is... Uh, oh, wow. Oh, it's just it's, it's a general kind of catalogue of all their stuff. Um, how to do things. Preparations. That is a 30-odd page magazine. There's a hint at something. Don't know what that could be. It's a hint of something. It's quite a lot, of, quite a lot of stuff in there, really, isn't there? There is, there is. There's some good stuff. Hey, Amon, thank you for joining us. We're just doing a quick uh, oh, hangout. We're doing some various unboxings. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's, there's some information there. And look, here's our bunch of paints. So they said we get a, a one brush. There is the brush. Yeah, it's round. It's called the monster. Right. It's quite I nice. assume that's a big brush. Yeah. Fingertip. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's nice. I like the feel of it. I like the feel of it. There's our meat, and that, again, so here is um, our paints. Give us a shake up, then, see if we can hear your balls. You want to hear my balls? There you go. Did you hear him? No. Oh. <laughs> Did you hear him now? No. Oh. <laughs> Trust me. My balls. <laughs> My balls have been well, well, well done. Um, these, these are nice. These are. Do I have any? I've got some. Here, look. I've got some Turbo Dork. So, Turbo Dork are a kind of a, I don't know, a regular size. So they are slightly taller, slightly bigger. Yeah. They're all silver topped as well. Just notice that. A splodge of paint on the top. Which I knocked over a giant. Um, yeah, so you've got various colours in there. So you go, you've got a little cardboard tray. And then you've got more. And they're all just like laying around in there, look, waiting to be used and painted. So there you go. Pretty nice. I like the fact they're, they're dropper bottles rather than the... Um flip top lids I don't like the Citadel yeah no. um, I, the only thing I like about Citadel paints is that you get that like lip on the inside so the paint kind of drips back down into the bottle it's the only thing I like um, but hey I'm impressed with that so, so um, there's not much else I could do but we're going to be testing uh, these as of tomorrow you, the, these these require some some special rules don't they you so the priming white I this yes so to make to, to make this effect work uh, it does state somewhere if i can't see it now i look to say look balls included <laughs> uh let's see no i can't see it now but it basically says you have to prime in a matte white. Oh, here you go. So here's another one. So vibrant color, rich shading, and simple highlights in one coat. Apply over matte white color primer. Right. 
Yeah. So I, I use, um, actually I use Citadel white primer spray can and that, they said that's fine. So let's go, let's give it a go. So that is, again, this, this is one item in a, in a box, it's a heavy box. Uh, a lot of it, it, a lot of the weight is, is not just in there. I'm a weed. Um, let's see what else we got. I'm gonna save that one. That's the biggest one. Save that till last. Save the big one till last. We also got a cutting mat. A self-healing cutting mat. Nothing, I mean, that's A4 in size. Nothing special um, as such. It is branded self-healing, kind of. Um, and all your measurements are on there, which is quite nice. I actually quite like that. They have thought about it. You got uh, you, uh, centimeters and inches. Yeah. And then on the back, you got the instructions. So yeah, here's, the, here's the bit I liked. Um, now it is a tool, it's A4, so it's probably put for my desk. For those of you who know, um, I paint on here. I don't have like a painting table or anything else. Uh, it I like this bit. It says photo backdrop on the back. So basically, I'm assuming that the that the back of this is black to give you your photo backdrop. So I'm looking forward to to trying that. But uh, yeah, thank you very much to Army Painter. As I said, Army Painter have come on and they are going to be uh, one of our new supporters. You're also going to see them on our epic brush off. Adam from Army Painter will be joining us as a, one of our pro painters uh, for, an, for an episode of epic, uh, epic brush off. Starts next week. And we will be doing a Army Painter brush off special in October. Where we go? So I haven't, I haven't got it out of the box yet. You gotta wait. I'm still keeping you hooked. You gotta wait for the announcement. Okay, so we've got that. Then, this. This is the Project Paint Station. Now wow. this is, uh, this is very, very flat pack. It's, a, it's only about a centimeter, probably just a little bit more. This is a flat pack. You assemble it yourself, you glue this, um, I think it's just board. You glue the board together and it holds, where are we? Space for 30 wall paints, six brushes, and one water cup. Items not included. When they mean water cup, they mean a plastic cup. How simple is it? I've been using yogurt pots, but it, it gets the job done. Um, it also says includes uh, free Wargammer's Army Painting Guide and Wargammer's Safety Tool Guide. So you get two guides in there as well. On the back, um, can hold up to 30 war paints, plus six brushes. And this is nice. I like the idea of using something, um, like, again, my space is limited. I have to build my painting space whenever I do the brush off or hang out. Um, and this, this may, like, like they say here, you can put it onto a shelf. And I like that. Just have the paints you need or the paints you're using at the time and do it. Now it is branded. I don't mind that. So you reckon the, the, the space in the front of the shelves is about the same size as that box? Um what you mean this? I I would imagine yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. This is kind of slightly bigger than A three. So it's a good size. And that's how your so your army map again, your cutting map is gonna sit on there no problem I think they use, oh, sorry camera i think they use it on part of the uh, illustration yeah 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 oh there it is oh yeah 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 so it will it will sit on there nice and neat yeah so i think i think you've got plenty of plenty of space there at all now again audience if you have questions shout them out put in question big capital letters lots of exclamation marks let's get it so, so chav did ask about uh about primer army painter make primer spray uh, why not use that? Yes, Army Painter do a, a, a full range of colours in, in primer. Um, the use of the Citadel, I'm going to guess, is because they've had it and there is a Warhammer shop in Crawley. Um, yeah. It's it's ease of, of access. I, I started off using Halford's plastic spray primer because there's a Halford stand the road. <laughs> um, it, was, it was just easy at the time. 
Now we're also sent but, over yes, some brushes. Yes, army painter do do a massive, massive range of primer colours. Far more than I could ever want to use, but they they really do uh, have a colour for every single many you want in primer. So this is the army painter most wanted brush set. Uh, now two of these oh, are the triangle. You'll like them because they're triangle shape. <laughs> yep, two of them are triangular. One of them is round. Um, and um, like when you, if you've watched the brush off before, we've had artists come on. Uh, Steve and Joe have both told me there's a thing called insane. Um, I'm assuming this is the insane brush. It's tiny. It's tiny. You can barely see it. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to using that. It's a regiment brush. I think that just means normal. And then you have this kind of small dry brush. Now look, it's angled. Yeah, that's, it is, that's nice. And it's cut on purpose. It's cut like that on purpose. Um, you have some details on the back. Most wanted brush set. Product code, blah, blah, blah. Inside. Rothmarder Sable. Extremely fine and pointed brushes. Perfect for pointing ultra precise highlights. Facial tattoos. Facial tattoos. That's that's what they mean in saying. This is gonna do like, ref, like light reflections on the eyeballs. Yeah. That's what this is. It's, it's still me on the other end of it though. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> the most versatile brush in our lineup, the regiment brush, is our ideal for speed painting. Large batches of troops really fast. It's rough mild sable hair holds a fine tip for more detailed work, and then the small dry brush is innovative dry brush is set at a forty three degree angle. Why forty three? The perfect angle for dry brushing small areas of models like chainmail, facial hair, you know, dry brush facial hair, or a weapon. Have they seen the brush off? Did he? I'm a, I did tell them that I'm a complete beginner. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> yeah, you know, just dry brush some facial hair, Dave. Just put in some facial tattoos. No. Um, if I try to do Braveheart, it just come out looking like a smurf. It's not gonna. It's not going to happen, is it? So they also sent um, some dry brushes as well. Look, master class, master class dry brush set. They're they're nice dry brushes. And they are round and they're different sizes. Look, so you've got two big big handles uh, and a little one, a normal one. Do these have things on? Let's have a look. Uh, moderate, miniature, and the mighty. I don't think I'm ready for master class. <laughs> See your I've... your dungeons and lasers terrain. Um, they'd be ideal for for that. Yes, I said big brush. Yeah, I like the way you said you said terrain, Steve, because there is there is something else. Are we ready? Are we ready for this? Now, again, just to point out a huge thank you, um, Army. I'm going to say it again, just in case you missed it, Army Painter. <sighs> Uh, have come on and they are going to be uh, one of our new supporters of the channel. Thank you very much, I'm Painter. They sent this over. Now, as you saw me trying to lift the box, the box is heavy. That's because they sent everything apart from the brushes in triplicate. Everything apart from the brushes is in triplicate. And also this thing. So I mentioned several times about the brush off Army Painter special that we've got going on. This, this is another challenge. Okay, they have challenged me because I was talking to Adam, and they said they have a product. Is it right way up? They have a product called the Game Master. Now I'm going to put this uh, under. It's like a board game. Anyone um, remember? Um, what is it? Is it Mouse Chase? What's M Mouse Trap? Mouse, mouse trap. trap. Mouse Trap. This is the same box they use for Mouse Trap. The original, not the new one, because the new one, you know, it's too small and cheap and fiddly. This is the mousetrap yeah. you knew as a kid. I was playing that with lead. Yeah. <laughs> when when toys were lethal, <laughs> before we knew they were lethal. Um, This is the Game Master Kit. Now, this is In Search of Adventure. So we know that we have been painting stuff on the brush off, and that's miniatures. And Steve and Joe, who, who have joined us, as, as co-painters on the show, they know I've never painted before. We've now clocked over 50 hours, maybe 60 hours, because we've been doing some hangouts. Not many, but we're doing some hangouts. We're gonna get doing some more of that. 
So Army Painter, because I said, you know, the show is all for beginners and we get, we get pro painters from around the world coming on, sharing their tips and tricks. Pro Painter challenged me to see if I could make terrain. Now, I've never made terrain. <laughs> I've never made terrain, but that's what this box set is. This is a core set of dungeons and caverns. There's a whole collection of these, like Arctic, desert, and uh, swamp, forest things. This is Dungeons and Caverns, okay? Wow. This thing is a beast. If you have any questions about this, let me know now before I open this thing. Look, it says, build your own dungeon. They're not kidding, okay? Oh, wow. There is, there is loads. I've just gone to their website. Yeah. There's loads of kits. Let's try and get this under the cow. I can't even see. Look, look how big this is. Warm. There you go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> build your own dungeon. Look. Different artwork all over the box. It is fantastic. Look at that. Uh, Cairo says, if you're unfamiliar with the current backdrops, yeah, so Cairo, um, Cairo, if you're able to, I don't know if it'll work, um, if you want to share your Instagram, please do, if you're hanging out with us tomorrow, you can save it till then if you want to, um, Cairo paints minis, he's going to be one of our guest painters, if you check out if it is his Instagram, um, fantastic miniature painting, but he has these backdrops, like these cave entrances and these kind of scenes, so uh, yeah, I will be picking your brains, but let's... Sorry about the noise. I'm going to take the lid off. Here we go. Now, inside, how to build dungeons and caverns. Um, oh, there's the D&D stuff I mentioned. Okay, you can get those. This has this is basically a kit and instructions on how to do things, on how to make this stuff. Now, this is all made out of... This is kind of stuff that I'm interested in, these elevations and things. Um, this is all made out of basically foam but this is a, a special foam which doesn't release harmful chemicals when you melt it according to Steve so inside look at this you get a whole load oh, yeah, of stuff tufts of grass I've got them grass look you get some special primer that doesn't melt um, your foam this is your foam look just simple it's a4 in size it's kind of like foam board, kind of like foam board, kind of like not. You get different sizes. You get one, two, three, four. You get six pieces of kind of A4, I would say, and two pieces of A3 foam in this box. Super lightweight foam. Have they got five foot squares printed on them? No. Like you have see. to do that yourself. Right. So in here so you, you get a you get a metal ruler in here as well but you basically do your own squaring in case you want hexes or anything else so you get a can of terrain primer so that's because you don't want to melt the plastic so before you paint it you get that um it's a nice size can it's heavy it's round that's that look steve there's a bat box of stone this is oh, nice scenery sand yeah it's quite cool. a nice tub Quite a lot in there. Yep, it's quite heavy. That's heavy. Yeah. Um, we have some grass tufts. Yeah, they're cool. I like them. Different sizes in there. Different stickies. Okay. Uh, we have what's this? Instructions. This is battery. A hot foam cutter, battery powered. So I've got to buy some batteries to stick them in there. Um. So that's going to be a new toy to play with. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all this actually on screen, but anything I don't do on screen, I'll put it onto social. And this is a nice big tub, actually. This is a double, triple the size of what we saw before, of your normal, it says you, it's a kind of like a brownie, and there's more of a grey. Yeah. So you got a dungeon base and a cavern base. So do you want a stone effect? Do you want a mud effect? There's no balls in that one. Um, what else we got? We got more brushes. We got a scalpel. Can I get this open? Sorry about the noise, folks. 
we have, yeah, look, nice big medium dry brush, it says. And it's, oh, look, Game Master. That's cool. A mini mixing palette. That'd be cool, actually. Yeah, that's handy. <coughs> and what, Steve, I wonder if that will fit in a dog mite tray. It, it might do. There we go. Uh, oh, look, there's a large dry brush. Oh, that is huge. Yeah, that is big. That is big. That is big. And then... Uh, that's a wash... Oh, that fell off. That is a wash brush. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I, I didn't, didn't think you'd be putting a wash on the, on that. Yep. Yeah. There's a scalpel. And then I'm going to chuck all this in here, because I'm not doing it properly yet. But I'm going to try and dig out some of this. I don't know what I'm going to build yet. I'm going to have to have a chat with Adam to see what the challenge is. Or if it's to do something out of the... Uh, sorry about the noise. Is, is that a ruler in the bottom? Yep. Yeah. They give you a metal ruler as well. So again, right. here's some more foam. You can see how big the foam is. Yeah. Uh, okay, look. There's more stuff. More stuff. There's more stuff. They give you sandpaper. Ah. They give you a metal ruler. Yeah. And here's the bit I like. Branded. <laughs> so I like that. I think that's kind of. I think that's kind of cute. I might keep that. But yeah, metal ruler. Let's put that in there. And look, even more paints. You get more paints in here. Now this is specific. This is not the same as speed paints. This is different. Um, let's pull that up. Put that on there. I don't know if this is actually going to work. So what we got? That is glue. Big bottle of foam yeah. glue. See, that's kind of interesting. That's what I want to know. Like stuff like that, scenery that I could reuse. Yeah. I wonder if yeah. I can make something like that. Have so, you had any uh, any thoughts about anything yet? No. Um, no, I want to do like uh, like K Row is doing. Um, I want to do backdrops yeah. for the photos, but primarily I want to do something which has elevations. Yeah. So if you think about a hill on a grass line, you know, you always have the road. So in D&D, &D, you have King's Road. You always get yeah. attacked on King's Road. If yeah. your dungeon master tells you you're going to go on King's Road, <laughs> don't. <laughs> Take Badger's Way or something like that. Um, you'd be a lot safer. Unless you're playing in my games. Uh, and there's hills. There's always elevations on one side, forests on one side, hills on the other. I want to know how to make hills and elevations. Basically things, because um, I want to be very tactical with my maps and minis. I want things to block line of sight. And I want to give players and monsters encounters elevation. Because, you know, if it works for Obi-Wan, yeah. I've got the high ground. You can beat me. So I want that. I want that kind of flavouring. Uh, dun I don't want that. Look, dungeon effects. I was going to ask what it was. Yeah, dungeon effects. Don't know. And look, these are these are all white. These are white tips, white tops, cavern highlights. Uh, what's this? Dungeon highlights. So I'm assuming that's just, is that just because it's a lighter grey, and that, and then you dry brush in the highlights, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe. See, Hagley. Oops. Cavern effects. What have we got? Subterranean wash. Ooh. So is that is that green then? That does look green, don't it? A uh, green, a uh, black green. That could be interesting. Um, what else have we got? Grotto slime. Oh, that's a nice colour. Yeah. Uh, what we've got here is some stuff. Whoop, hobby products. So, another brochure. Yep, bits and pieces. That's what I would like. If, uh, you know, I've got room in my garage. 
<laughs> for, for those. I'll take two, please. Uh, and look, there's a whole range. 134 paints. Wow. In their range. I, I like the... They like give that. you a lot of tips in there. Yes. You know, storing your brushes. Army Painter uh, are notorious. Uh, I think they're one of the leading brands who do help really, really properly helpful videos. Um, not the way we do videos, Steve. No. But... Really, really useful with information, advice that you can actually use and copy. And you can pause their videos. That's one of the best things. You, right. They say to it, like, pause here um, or go to the next chapter in the video. Something like that. Um, I'm not going to fit back in there. I'm going to take that out. Oh, it's something. Oh, got to see. Again. So, again, once again, to. Um, is this. Let me go back on it. I don't think it does. Thank you once again to Army Painter. They are now our new supporters in everything we do for painting miniatures, uh, aimed at beginners and things like that. We will be doing a special Army Painter brush off special thing um, in October. And I, how, did this, how did this go in? And we will be seeing Adam from Army Painter. Uh, in our epic brush off series as well, he has signed up to be one of our one of our guests, our pro artists. Cool. I don't know how this went back in. I'm gonna put that on there. You have to watch the video in reverse. Yeah, um, and then I'll work out how to do it. Oh, I've just noticed something else. On the inside side of the box, it lists all various other pro uh, products, but also has all of the uh, paints listed. In colour format. Cool. Make the box fart noises. Uh, that's not just random runes around the outside, is it? I can see actual words. There is actual words. Um, that was a nice bit. It says, "Hold your shield and hold it high," or. You've got to kind of put it all together. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. That says spells instead. Bold and treasure. Gold and treasure awaits, awaits us. us. Hold your shield and hold it high. Uh, for monsters will be monsters. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> monsters something... Upon, on the head, For, it'd be force or tame the beast. The head or tame the beast, yeah. But yeah, um, I'm absolutely blown away uh, by this set. So this is another challenge that we accept. This will be. So are you going to make some terrain to go with your um, frost giant? Oh, that's a good idea. Because you've talked about doing a diorama before. Yes. And you have the tools now. We've got the tools. We don't have the talent. <laughs> but that's what practice, <laughs> practice, practice, practice is all about. So yes. uh, we're going to give this a go. But again, once again, thank you very much to um, Army Painter for, for sending this over. Incredibly generous. Um, I'm going to get this over to Steve for this week. Joe's picking his up next week. we just got to work out when and where and how we do it but we will also be used you'll be seeing us use some of this bits on um epic brush off starting next thursday we, and again i'll say it once more time we've got an army painter brush off special coming in october where i can, i'm gonna attempt to i don't know to build something we're gonna have to work out what it might be but i don't know yet i want something i can actually use um we're playing on icewind dale so maybe it'd be snow themed um, or is it just going to be generic grassland hills? I don't know. Uh, I've got to work out something. Snow, snow theme. I don't know. We've got, we're going to work you, that something might, That might be difficult to do with that kit, though, because that is for um, a dungeon and cavern, isn't it? Yeah. And you can get, again, so this has everything you need in terms of the paint. So it's not just the tools. 
has all the paint colours you need for a dungeon and cavern. So you've got the brown and the greys. If you go for the, the Arctic set, Steve, obviously the colours and paints will be different. Yeah, I know that. Snow and Tundra. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you, 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 you've got the, the tufts of grass. You've got everything in there, haven't you? So yeah. you, you obviously get a different set of things in... Um, in the in the tundra, there's some some good inspiration. Just looking at the pictures on there, the yeah. shop site actually. So there is there is a ton of stuff there, and that is an incredible. Uh, it's an incredible box. Again, this is board game size box. It's got some weight in that as well. Um, so yeah, incredibly chuffed, incredibly pleased. You will be seeing this on the channel, and that's it. We, so we're going to leave it there. Uh, again, if you if you're watching this uh, on YouTube, please do like and subscribe. We're trying to hit. Um, I think we're trying to hit 800 at the moment. We've just hit 730 something. On please YouTube, do like and subscribe on YouTube. Please do like and subscribe. Right. Um, tell your pets, your parents, your friends, your neighbours, uh, the weird people you see on the buses and the trains. Uh, just pull up at the lights and say, have you heard of youtube.com slash band of badges? No, you should. Because they're wicked. They're epic. Um, they're all about the beginners. They're all about the community. Um, and we have some more stuff coming as well. Again, join us tomorrow night. We're going to be doing a hangout. And we'll speak to you all soon. Be good. Bye-bye. <laughs>